All right, this is first grade module two, lesson 24. And in this lesson, uh, we're going to continue uh, working on some word problems. Uh, this time, the strategy or the, the problem type of the 12 that we've been talking about, the 12 different kinds of addition or subtraction problems. Today, we're going to be talking about the take from with change unknown. And what does that mean? It means we're going to be doing this one. The example would be like five apples were on the table. I ate some apples. There's our change unknown. I ate some apples. Then there were uh, three apples. How many apples did I eat? And the idea would be the problem would be five minus something equals three. And we want students to recognize this kind of problem. Ultimately, we want them to be able to recognize that they could do uh, five minus three gives us that missing change unknown. So at this point, we're just allowing students to draw pictures, come up with their own strategies for handling this kind of problem. We're continuing to use the read, draw, and write uh, format. Read, draw, and write. Um, so Toby dropped 12 crayons on the classroom floor. So that's the first little part. Now, I think uh, kind of a tricky thing is how do you have first graders do the read, draw, and write when some of our first graders might be struggling with the words? I'm going to leave that up to you teachers to figure out how to differentiate for some students who can uh, do the reading while others can't. Uh, parents and teachers, one idea, you can make a video of this. You can simply make a video of reading the question, allowing students to follow along, uh, yeah, pair up a strong reader with other students who aren't quite readers yet. Um, there's a whole lot of th ways that we can do this, and I'm going to leave that up to you. So, <laughs> a read. Easier, for, easier said than done, I'm sure. So, Toby dropped 12 crayons on the classroom floor. Um, Toby picked up nine crayons. Marnie picked up the rest. How many crayons did Marnie pick up? So, there's there's the big question, and we're going to start by drawing 12 crayons. I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And notice I'm doing them in our five-group format. I didn't put it in, in a, a 10 frame, although I could. Uh, I'm just going to do the five-group format. So there's Toby. He dropped 12 of them. Now he's going to pick up nine of them. So let's put a circle around 9, so that's 5 plus 4. And these are the ones that Toby picked up. And then it says Marnie picked up the rest. So these are the ones that Marnie picked up. So we can see that our answer is 3 crayons. So Marnie picked up 3 crayons. What's a number sentence that we could write? Well, one sentence we could write is 12 minus 9 equals what? We could do another one uh, where we could do 12 minus what equals 9. Another one we could say is 9 plus what equals 12. So there's a whole variety of uh, number sentences that our students could write and give your students a chance to come up with um, the number sentence that makes the most sense to them as long as it's correct. So we've got 11 students on the playground and some students went back into the classroom. There's our change unknown. Some students went back into the classroom. If 15, I mean if 7 students stayed outside, how many students went inside? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw those 11 students, and I think I'm going to do in a 10-frame format. So there's 5, there's another 5, and there's our 1. So there is our 11 students on the playground. Now it says some students went back inside, and uh, 7 students stayed outside. So let's put a circle around 7, and these are the students that went outside. And that means these are the students who went in, uh, who stayed outside. So these are the ones who went inside. 
So the question is, how many students went inside? And we can count and we can see, oh, the answer is four. So what is our number sentence? Well, one number sentence would be 11 students on the playground take away something leaves us with the seven students who stayed inside. We could do um, seven plus what equals 11. Oh, there's just a whole host of kinds of questions that students could have come up with. Oh, they could have said 11 minus 7 equals question mark. There's a variety of number sentences that students could have come up with. Parents and teachers, your task is not to say which one of these is right, but your job is to make sure whatever number sentence your student comes up with, make sure it's correct. So at the play, eight students from Mr. Frank's room got a seat. If there were 17 students in room 24, how many children did not get a seat? Well, that's kind of a bummer. So eight students got a seat. So let's draw those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these eight students got a seat, and we know that there's supposed to be 17 children all together. So let's draw, let's see, 17. So we're going to do, so we've got, what do we have so far? We have eight so far. So we're going to say 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so now we've counted up that we kind of counted on, didn't we? Basically, we said 8 plus what gives us 17. And we can see right here, this is how many we counted on because we had 8. And we said 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ha ha. So this answer we can see is 9 because we have 5 and 4. So we see that the missing number, how many students did not get a seat? And that answer is 9. I'm going to leave it up to parents and teachers to help with answering that in a complete sentence. Another way we can see that is we could take these two right here and just move it right there, uh, leaving these over here, these 7. So you have 10 plus 7 gives us the 17 that we're aiming for. Um, but right here, it shows us that we had 9. All right, so what are some number sentences? Well, we could do 17 minus 8 gives us a question mark. We could do 17 minus a question mark gives us 8. There's a whole variety of number sentences that students could come up with. And that wraps up first grade, module 2, lesson 24. Students are coming up with a variety of strategies for drawing the pic pictures to represent the take from with change unknown types of problems.